Hello. Thanks for being here. I remember I once told you that at some point somebody made a bigger arrangement to put a joystick in. And here is one such thing. I'm just trying to look and see if I can see who made it, because I don't know who made it. I know it certainly did, though, fit the Wiko Oh, okay. You have to get the light red. This is called the Thompson Lapboard. Patton Pending. Made in USA. It is. So, basically all it is, it's a bigger hunk of plastic for the joystick. Because, especially during some games, like Summer games, winter games, and other things, you had to move your joystick very quickly, or up and down, or do other such maneuvers. It just feels a little loose in here. It does. The screws look a little rusty. I don't think I want to take them out. No, I certainly don't. Oh no, that screw doesn't really doesn't fit well. And of course, I don't see another one handy. If screwdrivers, oh, here's one. If screwdrivers don't fit nice, oh, oh yeah, that fits nice. Don't force the issue, especially with a Phillips. So they do seem to be snug. They do. Anyway, so with a, with a regular joystick, of course, you can set it on the table, put your hand around it, and say, okay, I'm there. But, um, I mean, this is even better for that, because you can really get, well, you can hold your hand hard, you can have your finger on the base button, ready to fire. Or you can just hold it well. Or, the, uh, the other thing was, of course, you could just hold it on your leg. Now, I have not tested this joystick yet. But at some point I will, I suspect. Let's see what is what. So this is a Thompson Lapboard. And I suppose, of course... Any joystick that is this size, it would work with. I believe this is a typical size for a Wiko. This is the red handle. There was also the red ball. Some of them are removable. Well, at least it's not removable. Um, and there was a kind of like a uh, a flying stick one that looked more like you put your fingers on it. Anyway, um, yes, at some point, I will test this joystick and test this thing and see what's what. But definitely I remember this, if you were playing summer games, winter games, or any of the games like that, where you needed to do things repeatedly and quickly, and you, I mean, the only other thing I could think of it would be good, but I don't know that they made such things as if you had a joystick that was like really, like in an arcade, like really fastened into a table or a console that would not move of some sort. This would be the next best thing. It would. Anyway, once again, another thing to test. Uh, yes. I will put this down here and see about getting to it. It looks, the cord looks okay, the connector looks okay. So, another time. I will hook up a 64, and a game of sorts, and see what's what. And as, and as I told you, it kind of looks like a baseball home plate, but not as sharp at the back. 
not his job. Anyway, quick short episode. Back to the basement. Bye for now.